I believe this one got a mention on the um, author's notes series and it's just a very old memory that <laughs> always makes me laugh when I think about it and it happened a long time ago in a post office back in the day before internet and I'm just in a post office there's no big deal about the post office it was a sort of busy-ish afternoon so you were waiting and because you wait that means you can watch all the people you can see what's going on who is doing what and I noticed that behind the counter, so you have, there, was, there were two guys and three ladies. And one of the guys, he was the oldest guy, and he had this air of authority. <laughs> and he was very sort of dismissive about a lot of things. Sometimes a customer would come and ask a question, be a bit dismissive about it, and say, oh, you should know that. Uh, at least this is my interpretation. So perhaps I got it wrong because I didn't go up and ask. And then you had the others, they were just sort of regular people. People would come, get parceled, da, da, da. there was always somebody here or there who um, wanted to converse. And they, there was time to do that. There wasn't this pressure of dealing with clients as quickly as possible. So I'm just sitting there watching people here and there. And then, um, well, well, you can't see, of course, the counter is here. And over there, there was a group of elderly ladies and they did seem to be, it seemed to be a, a sort of club that, that maybe they, they just knew each other, I don't know. They were sort of talking and they were kind of noisy. And then one of them pointed at the guy, the sort of bossy guy. And I understood that they seemed to know him and they seemed to like him. So in my head, they were the sort of fans of this kind of bossy guy. And anyways, things are going, da, da, da. then there's this customer, there's a point where he is not at the counter, he's behind the counter, he's facing, he's doing something on the shelves or whatever. And the customer comes with something and there's a form that needs to be filled in and whatever, whatever, whatever. And so the person attending to, let's say, customer A, goes to the bossy guy and asks him something about whatever's going on. And he comes and he's like, mm -hmm. Either. Then he gets his rubber stamp and the guy whacks this thing. He doesn't just whack it. He, he really, as if he's serving uh, in a game of tennis, he just lifted the, his arm up and just smashed the, this thing down, the stamp on the form. And I don't know, it, of course it probably didn't happen, but I'm convinced the ladies who I believed were his fans sort of all shivered like, oh my goodness, he's done it again. I don't know. Whatever, this is one of those memories of something I've seen that I know it will stay around for a long, long, long time.